Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, the scattering matrix parameters of directional coupler. So in the last video, I have explained about uh, the operation and what are the different factors we can calculate using the directional coupler. So this is the directional coupler as a waveguide which is having four ports and a single hole from or two holes or multi hole to couple the power from main waveguide to auxiliary waveguide okay and uh, uh, the four ports are named as incident port received port back port and forward port so you can uh, the powers which are coming out are associated with these ports are is incident power which is associated with the port 1 and port 2 that is uh, received power port 3 which is a back power port 4 which is a forward power when input is applied at the first port second port is completely benefited and any leakage power is there from main waveguide to auxiliary waveguide that power will be going towards the forward power or forward port nothing but fourth port but not from the port 3 completely it is zero we can say ideally completely the power from the third port is zero the same case with the reverse reverse direction also suppose port 2 is acting as input port 1 and 3 are benefited but not from port 4 okay because it is a directional because it is a directional it is having directional bidirectional property bidirectional property okay so before going into the calculation of s matrix how many ports it has four ports how many scattering matrix parameters we need to derive 4 by 4 matrix so totally 16 parameters we need to calculate okay using the properties of s matrix and using the properties of directional coupler again those parameters are going to be reduced okay so as there are as there are four ports for a directional coupler for a directional coupler s matrix size is 4 by 4 s matrix size is 4 by 4 so which is s matrix for this 4 by 4 size is s11 s12 s13 s14 so these are the total 16 parameters that are need to be calculated with this directional coupler okay so now let us see the properties of directional coupler and as well as the scattering matrix properties so that we can reduce the parameters to some extent so from the properties of the directional coupler the ports are perfectly matched so as all ports are perfectly matched to the junction we can write it as s11 is equal to s22 equal to s33 equal to s44 equal to 0 that means as the junction is perfectly as that port is perfectly matched to the junction when power is incident for the uh, from the first port the reflection from the same port is 0 and similarly second port third port and fourth port also okay so as there is no coupling between port 1 and port 3 and port 2 and port 4 so the reflections from port 1 to 3 3 to 1 or 2 to 4 4 to 2 is 0 okay what is the property of directional coupler port 1 and these two these two ports are decoupling ports and similarly this one this one also decoupling ports that means when input is applied at the first port either it may come from 2 and 4 but not from port 3 again from input is up when input is applied at the second port it may come from uh, 1 and 3 but not from 4 that means 1 and 3 are isolated ports 2 and 4 are isolated ports decoupling ports so as port 1 and port 4 
port 1 and port 3 comma port 2 and port 4 are decoupled or we can say decoupled are isolated ports S13 is equal to S31 is equal to S24 is equal to S42 equal to 0 because they because of their property that is nothing but they are isolated ports 1 and 3 are isolated ports and similarly 2 and 4 are isolated ports so this is the symmetry property of the S matrix 1 3 is equal to 3 1 and as the ports are reciprocal reciprocal S21 is equal to S12 S14 is equal to S41 which is nothing but symmetry property of this S matrix S23 equal to S32 S34 is equal to S43 now the S matrix becomes 0 S11 nothing but 0 S12 0 S14 and S21 0 S23 it is 0 and 0 S32 0 S34 S41 0 S43 0 okay after substitution of zeros from this and again we know that s12 equal to s21 s23 equal to s32 so after substituting that also we will be having s is equal to 0 s12 0 s14 s12 it is also s12 because of its symmetry property 0 s23 0 s yes, 1 4 uh, sorry it is 0 0 s yes, 2 3 0 s yes, 3 4 s yes, 1 4 0 s yes, 3 4 0 Now, so unitary matrix using the unitary matrix using unitary property using unitary property of S matrix unitary property we can write it as we can multiply S into S star S into S star that is equal to identity matrix i okay so unitary matrix we know that is nothing but 0 s12 0 s14 s12 0 s23 0 0 s23 0 s34 s14 0 s34 0 this one multiplied with the s star matrix nothing but 0 s12 star 0 s14 s12 0 s23 0 all these are complex conjugates of the original ones 0 s23 star 0 s34 and similarly it is s14 star 0 s34 star it is 0 that is equal to 4 by 4 identity matrix 1 triple 0 0 1 double 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 this is identity matrix now multiply so row 1 
column 1, row 2, column 2, row 3, column 3. Uh, along with that, we, will, we need to multiply, multiply row 2 and column 4. Then S12, S14 star plus S23, S34 star is equal to 0. That means S12, S14 magnitudes is equal to S23 modulus of S34. Okay. So, keep, keep all these equations we have to use in the coming equations. And again, multiply R1 with C3. So, S21 s23 star plus s14 s34 star that is equal to 0 that means s21 magnitude mod s23 is equal to mod s14 mod s34 so keep it as a second equation again multiply r1 with c1 so, S12, it is S12, see row 1, column 1, row 1, column 1, S12 multiplied by S12 star. So, it, we can write it as magnitude of S12 square plus S14 square is equal to 1. So, as S23 equal to S32, we know that S23 equal to S32. So, this equation, the first equation becomes, take it as a third equation. So, as S23 is equal to S32, equation 1, S12 is equal, S12 into S14, is equal to S32 into S34 is equal to S23 into S34. Okay, these are the uh, properties, the symmetric properties of these S matrix from equation 2 S21 S23 is equal to S41 S 4, 3 or we can also write it as S12 S23 is equal to S14 into S34 because of this symmetry properties. So, multiply these equations, this equation and this equation. Multiply these two equations, uh, equation number 4, equation number 5. So, multiply 4 and 5. So, mod S12 square mod S14 mod S23 is equal to mod S14 into mod S23 into mod S34 square. So, therefore, you can write it as mod S12 is equal to mod S34. Okay, after cancellation on both sides and similarly, from other equations, from other equations, we can write S14 is equal to S23. Okay, you can keep the magnitude or you can eliminate this magnitude. Let us assume S12 is equal to S34 is equal to some P, where P is a real and positive number real and positive number then p into s23 star plus s41 is equal to 0 and let s23 is equal to s14 is equal to some j into q where q is again a real and 
positive number a real and positive number so therefore p square plus q square is equal to 1 we are assuming in such a way so finally we can write the s matrix as 0 p 0 j q p 0 j q 0 0 j q 0 p j q 0 p 0 okay so this is the final matrix of directional coupler s matrix of the directional coupler this s matrix of the directional coupler is somewhat different uh, when compared to the remaining s matrices which is having only ones and zeros in the previous matrices but this directional coupler is having a somewhat uh, mixing properties of a different uh, waveguides so that's why it is having a in, in other uh, assumed parameters like a p and q okay so this is the scattering matrix of directional coupler thank you